I'm Andy. I'm Nick. I'm Jerry. Jesse. And we are Super Snake. <laughs> We wanted to do something that was like a little bit like a fever dream and kind of purging. We wanted to, the record is kind of a bad trip, you know, um, but also reveals a little bit something emotional. I don't think Super Snake has ever done a kind of emotional reveal. We always leave it up to, um, you know, horror tropes and, and nuances of, uh, you know, sexual innu innuendos to define us. And now I think this one actually exposes a little bit. Um, it's still a lot of fun though, you know, and I think like uh, Influenza Forever doesn't sound like it's a lot of fun, but it's, it's that like, it's, it's in between a fever dream and, and that purging, getting something out, the, the, you know, the little devils in the details that are, that are, that are kind of expelling out of you. I think it's psychedelic sax now. Yeah, <laughs> there's sax. there saxophone in the in the record, so yeah, yeah. We, we definitely evolved. No. I think it's more psychedelic. It's less of a riff record, where Leap of Love was much about the two guitarists at the time just kind of like riffing, you know, trying to like out riff each other the whole time. It was kind of just like hammer over the head, like, you know, We're here's show a riff. You this is a riff. Yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, I think we kind of made an effort this time to not. We, we wanted to make a, a totally different record that relies less on riffs um, and more about just overall songwriting, I think. And we took it back a lot. We, we decided that we weren't gonna layer and layer and layer. I mean, there are plenty of layers. We definitely went for like a more minimalist approach uh, to when we were recording this record, um, to just to let the songs pump and breathe, you know? And I, I think that was, that was really big for us. We wanted, we didn't want to feel like you couldn't breathe in these songs. We had a lot of Leap of Love, which again, I'm, I'm very happy with that record. It's just, you know, we were, it was everything all at once, yep. all the time, and, and everybody fighting against each other in that record. And that's what that record kind of was about. This is just definitely uh, a, a way more, well, yeah, you're, you're, you can, you can smoke a big fat dube and, 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 <laughs> and. Well, but again, again, the speed, the speed that we wrote it was, we basically go into a practice. I mean, I had a couple songs when I came in and, we basically just jam for a little bit, and by the end of the practice, we'd have a song. So there was, there wasn't, you weren't banging your head against the wall trying to figure something out or, or whatever. It was just it wasn't forced. It, it came very forced. natural. It, it just came natural, and it wasn't. Yeah, you weren't, you weren't. I wasn't trying to get too technical or whatever. It was yeah. like if it felt good, just go with it, and then we just left it. And uh, and I think that that lent something different, especially having Nick and I, you know, as being newer members, I mean, you had been in the band, but yeah. still, it was a different atmosphere. And um, and we even went into the studio, like, with one song we kind of wrote a week before. Like, yeah, we went yeah. in, it was a very, um, you know, free recording yeah, experience. Yeah, it felt good. Yeah, yeah good. we didn't want, we, not to say we didn't want to tr try too hard, but it was, it was, let things be organic and see where they land. Not overcomplicated. Yeah, that's, yeah, there you go. Well, for, yeah. I mean, for that short of time to put a record together too, for it not to be that complicated, that's yeah. Yeah. It was. It's wild. Yeah. I mean, we kind of knew what, again, there's a, there's a lot of dynamic shifts. This is a way more dynamic record than Leap of Love is. There's, there's quiet parts, there's soft parts. That, then there's these like cacophonous, insane, insane epic, you know, uh, blowouts. But uh, you know, specifically the saxophonist that came in, this guy uh, Shuby, uh, just destroyed. And we didn't even know. We're not a band that's you know trophy scars that Andy and I play in another band that, that uses a lot of instruments. Um, Super Snake was just very much to me. My mind was always going to be a guitar-driven band and, and uh, a rock and roll band. I think when you know Jesse and I started started doing this, we wanted a very sweet guitar rhythm set. We. We interjected some uh, some saxophone in there, and it really brings a couple yeah. songs of life on the record. It's, well, it's we, and we took we took what you and I do in Trophy Scars. Of we get a blueprint, and then we go into the studio, and you see what happens. You build it, you work it, you 
that's where the process really happens. You know, so some of them, I mean, most of the songs were, were done the way they were, but they're also kind of blueprints, and then you can get the right players in there, you know. Yeah, yeah and it just it just it comes together, and you and you start using yeah. all your minds. Is our, like always our favorite part of, of of music is just being able to go in there and then really like microscope like what was like important about that song, and and, yeah. and then just yeah. like, like just change it, mix it to it's like this fucking thing that is just you can't get away from it, or like you need like. You know, it's got to be sexy, or this is now it's going to be. This is going to be like really bleak and worrisome. You know, so it, it was really cool to do that. Yeah. No, this time we did it with John, uh, who, John Ferrara, he's um, our guitar player in Trophy Scars, but he's a great engineer, great producer, um, great mixing engineer. Um, and uh, just a little bit of a different approach. We, we, we just did it in Jersey. Again, it was about the speed of things. We wanted to get it done fast. Uh, the experience with Kevin was like one of the most magical experiences yeah. we've ever had in our lives. I mean, I, I don't think you could beat that recording-wise. It just had so much fun. You know, shooting fucking guns, AR thirty, AR thirteens, and and uh, and driving around I in mean, golf carts or in a fucking. I mean, just even tracking, right? You 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 track your base like by a campfire, right? Yeah, night, like one in the morning. You gave so, a horse diarrhea. The next so this morning. was a little, this was a little different. It was the more horse had diarrhea. A, a, a contained, uh, you know, in the studio, you know, just. But yeah, Kevin's like, you want to record bass now? And I was yeah. like, now? He's like, yeah. He's like, outside. And I was like, All right. so yeah. the difference is. You know, establishing rules. You know, which I think is, uh, you know, it sounds like a great idea going out to Virginia and everything like that. And it was, it was fucking awesome. I will never trade that for anything. I loved recording that record. Um, but there were no fucking rules. And uh, when you want to get something done kind of fast and you want it to to feel natural, it can't be just over. Like you're you're almost overdoing it. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that like going out, you know, and, and doing an isolated. Virginia record is overdoing it. I think it's like we just didn't, we went down there and we're like, we're gonna make this fucking crazy record. And we did make, it, it was crazy. I think we just established a little bit more of a game plan, you know, like a little bit more rules. I also think that we, you know, from the beginning of volume four, we wanted to make the best sounding record yeah. that yeah. we could make. And I think you guys, you sacrificed some quality of sound going to Virginia for, sure. for you know, Trapping yeah, all night. Outside, yeah, much. the whole record was recorded. <laughs> so I in think, the open. Uh, there was, yeah, there was, well, was it was less dubbed this, stuff. This was know. and this was more. You know, you go in, you do your thing. It's it's yeah. contained. I guess, like you said, the rules. You know, it's less. I like the you idea just, of trying things, but you know. I mean, we're yeah, we're always we're experimenting, but we got to set set up some sort of parameters. And I feel like portrait at this point is kind of our. It feels almost like a second home. I mean. The first EPs were recorded there, right? Yeah, and um, yeah. everything. Ex Trophy Scars has done something. So it's like it was a comfortable space, and it's a great sounding room. It's like an old farmhouse. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful so, room, yeah. Um, recording is a beautiful room. Yeah. So I think we're happy. I'm happy with the sound of the oh. record. Yeah. Oh yeah. By, by a long shot, uh, de definitely our best sounding record for sure. Yeah. It, it is. It's going to. Um, it, you know, especially on vinyl. Hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna take people places. That's that's I, I want people to to experience this very great speakers and you know everybody went through the, like we I always think about the nuances. If you have really great speakers or really great headphones, this this album should just like we got the ma digital masters back, which sounded great, and then we got the the vinyl test pressings back a couple weeks ago, and we sat and listened to the vinyl, and it just was a whole other thing. It was yeah. insane. Kevin Metesky, uh, the we have to do, uh, give him yeah. props, man. This guy fucking mastered the thing for vinyl like a champ.
know, the, the funny thing is when you hire a PR company, is that they want you to say something ridiculous and like, yo, you're going to be different and you're going to say the fucking crazy shit. So, um, yeah, we, we, you know. I don't disagree with that no, I, I statement. I, I, that was the closest thing that I could come up with was that, that, that what we sound like. And I still think so. I still think that's a good description of it. Um, but like, you know, everybody wants a little razzmatazz and a little hyperbole. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I think I just wanted to like forego like all this, like this bullshit. Like this is the metaphor for the, you know, the, the sound. And, and I do, yes, I do think that's uh, that's an accurate description of what Super Snake, it, it's our, um, I guess, um, what do you call that? Uh, it's our, our uh, modus operandi, you know, it's like we, we, we should always be trying to reach that chopped up Ouija board in a pipe and inhaling. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, mission statement. Mission statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I mean, that's all the questions I had. Is there anything else you guys want to add as far as that we didn't touch base on? Uh, no, I, 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 we got a couple shows coming up. Uh, our record release is not cemented yet. Um, we do have a show in November with This Will Destroy You, which is one of um, my good buddy's bands and uh, an, an amazing band. Um, we're very excited about it. House of Independence, Asbury Park. Um, and yeah, I think everybody should hold tight, wait for the record. I'm very excited about it. Um, I think if you're a Super Snake fan, you should be very excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not yet, fuck. I think it's also, it. the new record's also going to be. Start. Yeah, it's. it's yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's yeah. going to be a good starting point for a lot of new people that maybe, you know, never heard Summer Girls or, or Leap of Love, but. Uh, you know, I think it's going to appeal to it's, it's more people. It's a new band. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's a new band. Yeah. We had two and guitar it, players before, yeah. and now he's... And it's, it's yeah. something that I'm excited for the future because we're already a few songs into the next one. Yeah. Like tonight we're playing two songs that aren't even on volume four. We're, yeah. we're hoping <laughs> to get into the studio by November to yeah. start doing volume five. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to have something that, that's solid for a while. You know, and 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 right, and uh, you know, I, I feel like I feel like Volume Four is a stepping stone. You know, yeah. so where are we going to go from there? Yeah. And yeah. now that we have this project, and you know, again, adding Nick and I, it's it's a whole new experience where like now we're starting to get to know each other. Right. You know, and be able to play together and do yeah. stuff that like, you know, where Volume Four is great, but that was like the, the first future. kiss. Exactly. That was yes. the first kiss, yes. you know. By the, we done, by the time we got, you know, it's it's like we'll never that. forget the first kiss. Yeah. But all the kisses <laughs> after are so much more meaningful. Yeah, yeah. Like where where are we gonna go from there? Now, like I I, I know Nick better. I know Sounds you know I know I know the way everyone plays. It's, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be something different. So it's a it's a really exciting time to you know see how things develop and and even how we play start playing the songs live again. You know, it's uh, exciting it's time to be alive in Super Snake. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, well, speaking about live, like, what's up with the situation here? Are you guys coming to your home? Is this your hometown? Uh, this is our home. It's my yeah, 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 hometown. Yeah. yeah. And you guys are putting yeah. on a free show with all your friends. Yeah. yeah. This is a party. So our, our buddies live in this house. Uh, I work with the one guy. I've, I've, I've grown up with everyone. And uh, they just got a great spot and a great, great mentality and a great whatever. And they're just trying to do something. The Clam Castle. Yeah, it's a Clam Castle. They're just, they're just, it's like an art house. They're you know? just trying to do the owner, fun, you know? The owners of this house shot the, the Big C's video from yeah. Leap of yeah, Love. Yeah. So this is actually like... Uh, they, it's coming home. You know, <laughs> yeah, like this this version of uh, of, of their B horror film is actually happening here. It's really it's really cool to fucking <laughs> playing their version of it uh, instead of on our terms. So, um, but yeah, man, this is, uh, this is, I couldn't have it any other way. This is beautiful. This is awesome. And I'm very, we're very excited to be playing the entire yeah. new record plus two new songs like just for a, a very private audience you know yeah. I think that, it's yeah. been a year yeah it's been a year it's been a year so. since we played so this is um, this is very exciting. strange days last year was our last show yeah so it's it's good and, and we i feel like we've learned a lot in the past year and you know just again like i said it's just working towards the future you know it's like that uh led zeppelin used to you know it's like you record a song and it's like an infant and then as it grows you know so now yeah, that we're all together you yeah. know it's 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 changing, so. I also learned how to tuck my <laughs> Yeah. If you pay attention, you'll see it. Yeah, you'll see it tonight. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you won't. It's gonna be <laughs> But you gotta be here, you know? That? <laughs> Anyone that braves the heat. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think we got it all, guys. Cool. Um, if you guys are satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's yeah. awesome, man. Perfect. Great. I could use another, like, two hours by myself. <laughs> yeah, Andy's a talker. He'll sit here for hours. Yeah.